Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we've got earthquakes, storms, a very cool find in Hawaii, and more confirmation of the polar echo research we went over eight days ago. We'll review and organize those concepts, but we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, where once again, all pops and surges in the Earth-facing position were small. No significant solar flaring. We may see enhanced solar wind in two or three days from the northern coronal hole turning through here. Meanwhile, the sunspot situation isn't offering much excitement. Even the new spot incoming from the left is spread. Some more size would be needed for major flares, but also more interaction, more complexity. Not a personal space bubble for each individual spot like we're seeing here. We'll keep watching for their morphing today. We've added two more big quakes to the July uptick list, 6.5 in Indonesia near the magnetic pole meeting place, and then south of New Zealand, a 6.9 that initially rang in at 7.0 before the downgrade, still awaiting the migration of these quakes eastward, but the tropical development eastward is well underway. Two hurricanes and more coming. Luckily, those ones south of Hawaii will stay south of Hawaii. We'll have to see if the ones further east take a northern bend towards the land. Folks, this is super cool. Ancient petroglyphs discovered in Hawaii. These have survived beneath the water for a long time, but a current shift has revealed them here. Not exactly squatter man since the arms don't all go up, but very similar in pretty much every other way and pretty cool. Now, let's jump back eight days to our look at polar mesospheric summer echoes. Our top story. Folks, yet another confirmation that polar mesospheric summer echoes are increasing. We've seen that before and stand far apart from the mainstream on the topic. See, to make these echoes, you need ice particles, dust, turbulent mixing, and ionization of the air, electrification. Now, the mainstream likes to blame carbon dioxide for everything, and while they say it heats the surface, they say it cools the mesosphere, and so they say cooling up there could mean more ice. And that is one of the factors. So they think it's humans making more of these echoes. The problem with that, however, is that the temperature in the mesosphere is already about negative 80. All the water vapor is ice already. Meanwhile, there is extra dust coming from the galactic current sheet, more turbulence from space weather neutral wind amplification with a weaker magnetic field, which also lets in more cosmic ray ionization. That's three of the factors in one shot and all from the ongoing magnetic pole shift. In this new study, they hit that hard, even directly tying the appearance and character to electron density changes and geomagnetic disturbances, which ionize and impact turbulence. Folks, we had studies say this before, but now more confirmation is always good. The mesospheric echo enhancement seen over the last two decades is another sign of the magnetic disaster on Earth. And we're back to today. Indeed, more space energy coming in. We've got more echoes. And today we've got the same conclusion about the winter echoes. There's a definitive amplification during solar storms and enhanced space weather, which once again confirms the general nature of the relationship and also has to make us conclude that the ramping up of these echoes over the last several years is driven by the extra space energy intrusion coming with the ongoing magnetic pole shift. Folks, only a few days left in July. Time to pre-order our new book is running out. Shipping is expected in September. All pre-orders get signed and you'll get a PDF copy as well in your email when we ship out the book. Inside, it's everything about space weather and I do mean everything, expert level. We thoroughly debunk the mainstream story on the weather and climate and we follow that up with the real answer to what's driving the atmosphere, the sun, and all the ways it also hits earthquakes, volcanoes, and human health. Our catastrophism sections hit everything from the cycles to the evidence details and what to expect and do in the years ahead. This is pretty much my life's work and it may just be our last book. Pre-order link is below. Homesteading camp is ongoing this week at Observer Ranch. Each day is a new lesson and new survival skill. Then tactical training this weekend. I will be out there August 1st and 2nd for Q&As, personal meetups with observers who are there, and to do some tactical training myself. Lots happening the rest of the year as well. Check out the events. Book your stay at ObserverRanch.com. We'd really love to see you out there, and we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.